What's up, y'all? Here we are in the last part of Silent Hill 3 Let's Play that I've been uh, doing. This is actually my second attempt at this. I got about 23 minutes into the first attempt only to realize that I had not turned the microphone gain up. So here we are, attempt number two. Um, there are quite a few cutscenes in this, and the process of killing the god is pretty long and tedious, so I'll actually go ahead and timestamp when the ends of the cutscenes all occur if you want to skip over it. Uh, and I guess it's about it. Housekeeping. So I often bitch and complain about the camera angles in Silent Hill 3 and 2 and 1 and 4. But these are some of the best in the entire franchise right here. It's a very short burst of camera angles, but they're all cool. <laughs> now I read somewhere that that was supposed to mirror or somehow mimic the uh, Nightmare Alley, the famous Nightmare Alley scene from the first game. I didn't ever do like a side-by-side -side to check on that. It's more of an homage if I remember correctly, because I played through that Nightmare Alley recently. But, you know what is a really cool, dead-on homage to Silent Hill 1? Is that. Oh. The big, gross fan. Remember that from Midwich Elementary School? And, you know, other locations from the first game? Okay, final door of the game. If you want to skip past the cutscenes, this is where you want to do it. Because we got quite a marathon here. Well, it's not that long, I guess. Maybe Ten minutes, something like that. I'm going to check out myself. I don't want to riff over them, so I'm just going to uh, see you on the other side. I might riff a little bit. I can't help it. to know God's will. Go home, Vincent. Home. This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. <laughs> this demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell! I mean, did you expect not to get stabbed saying something like that? Going to run? I guess this is 
the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Vanessa, I am saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. Thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a God born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. I did turn it up a little bit. Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can save us. And save you too? Happy ending? feel so guilty about it. Why don't you go to hell? Heather, use the seal. Vincent? The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do? Uh, okay, so I take serious issue with this, and we'll talk about that later. With the seal of Metatron being useless. I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Ooh, the controller's shaking. <laughs> it caught me off guard. I had this thing set, like sitting on my lap, and I kind of checked out during all this. <laughs> I'm not totally sure what they were going for with that. I'm sure it was supposed to sound badass, but I have always thought that to be a profoundly silly thing to say right there. Okay, so here's what we are going to do. is We are going to pop us a little tablet of Aglopidus, proven to expel demons from one's body. And uh, I'm not even sure if Claudia is aware of Aglopidus or not. 
um, Heather kind of has a passing familiarity with it because of the, you know, book that we read earlier in the game. Dad. But I wonder if Claudia is even aware of it at all. Really getting a lot of mileage out of the Heather bent in half and writhing in pain animation here, aren't they? What have you done? What did you swallow? It's the municipal water here, isn't it terrible? Here, bro. Looks like God didn't make it. Stop! What is? What are you? <laughs> Had her on the back or something. Like So I'm actually not going to, I thought about this, I'm not going to prolong this video any more than it's already going to be uh, by explaining the Seal of Metatron thing. Uh, I'll leave it in the description. Um, let's go into this horrifying, gaping, vaginal-shaped hole and uh, do battle with the god of the cult. Now there was some talk earlier, like way at the beginning, I drew your attention to Heather having like kind of a fear or a sense of discomfort around mirrors. Um, I didn't really explain any of that throughout the rest of the Let's Play, so I'm going to do that now while this thing loads up. Uh, there's a room in the hospital that we skipped where there's a big mirror and you see a mirror image of Heather and then slowly like blood creeps into the room and turns it all dark and spooky. And then we also fought Memory of Alessa, which is another mirror image of Heather. And we're arguably about to fight yet another mirror image of Heather. Because the god is pretty conspicuously, especially your head and face, pretty conspicuously modeled after Alessa, see? So I felt like that was a pretty cool idea to set up at the very beginning of the game. While, while the environment was still innocuous, this fear of mirrors and the world inside of them. And that also, the idea of a world being inside of a mirror comes back in Silent Hill Origins. Probably the best aspect, in my opinion, of Silent Hill Origins. Can't origins. I always want to say oranges. <laughs> okay. Now we're back to Silent Hill 3. This is bad. This is Gad. 
All right. So I'm not gonna lie, this is a fairly tedious process. It takes up a lot of time. I'll do my best to keep it entertaining for you, but uh, no promises. <laughs> Oh, you know what's cool about this? You can stray from. Look at that. And we are going to be doing that a lot here. A lot of people... I've read a lot of, like... Shit. I've actually read that the god... This... Like, this boss design was criticized. And I guess I understand, but not really. I think that she's scary enough. I mean... She's not difficult the same way that the Incubator or the Incubus were difficult in that they, like, are ambulatory. But you also don't even have to actually shoot that boss a single time. So... God can't really move, but she can mess your shit all up, and there's no way to, like, hack and kill her. I guess there is kind of a hack. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I don't know how to do it. The hack on the god, the hack on the incubus or the incubator in the first game, anybody can do it. You just know about it. Apparently this god has a, a hack. There's like a sweet spot that you can stand by her arm kind of in front of where I'm at now. And she'll swing at you and miss each time. And I've seen like some videos of this on YouTube and I tried to figure out how to do it myself but I just couldn't find the sweet spot and I honestly gave up. No, no, no. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. Okay, there we go. So I'm simultaneously playing through this. Fuck! Uh-oh. Alright, it's time for an ampule here. I'm simultaneously playing through this, uh, Silent Hill 1, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and um, Resident Evil 3. Kind of all at the same time in, in short spurts. And all of the buttons in all of those games are just slightly different. So I'm going to make some incorrect button presses here, probably more often than not. Please bear with me on this. Let's talk about the music. It's pretty cool. It's got like that, you know, reverent, scary church organ feel, but it's got kind of a beat. But the beat is made by industrial sounds, not necessarily by uh, like traditional drums. Another nice throwback to the original game is that industrial, these are industrial sounds. Or quote unquote industrial, you know definitely sound very percussive. Run, Heather, run. Straight run, Heather, straight run. SR-50, SR-50. I wish we could, I wish we could SR-50. Oh, we're finally getting close to being done with the shotgun. I hope I didn't get anybody's hopes up by stopping with the word done in the middle of the sentence. We have some time to go still. 
I think I'm gonna get fucked up here. Yep, I get the shit slapped out of my face. I'm gonna go with first aid kits. Other thing about this that I think gets kind of glossed over. This is this is a very unforgiving enemy. Like if you make a mistake, if you do something wrong, it takes some damage like I'm about to do. It rarely ends well. One hit basically guarantees your ass is in the medium range. I'm not sure if I did my map right here. This is the last of the shotgun shells, though. Got her. Alright, was that the last of the shotgun shells? It was, so 14 out of 18. So 14. Seven of these? Okay. So now we go to the handgun. Uh, every volley of five, or every five shots of the handgun equals one enough damage, the same amount of damage that a shotgun shell would do. If I did my math right, we have to use seven of these, and then we go in with them all. That was one. Oop. Sorry, I'm fumbling with my pen here. I really don't want to botch this. Oh, my pen's not ready now. There we go. One. There's two. Move that, move it. No, 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 why in the... Okay. Move it or lose it. Move it or get on fire. We know how much of us it hates being on fire. She gets hung up on the wall like that. That's like infuriating. That's one thing about fixed camera angle games and survival horror is there will just be some nonsense thing that you can barely see and you'll be running at full speed and it'll screw you all up. The next thing you know, you're getting like dog piled. No! Oh no! Oh no! Well. On the other hand, all oh, right, we did it. We killed the god. My math was off. I did something wrong. Just 
जाती है So, hell of a day, huh, Heather? Yep, okay, we did it. We did it. We beat the, we beat the god. We're through Silent Hill 3. We're going to get the... Uh, I think it's just called the normal ending. You always get the normal ending the first time through. Now, the reason I was upset when I killed the god is because I wanted to do it with the mall. I wanted to kill it off with the mall so that we could get some infinite weapons for the next time through. But it's okay. It's all right. She does have terrible taste. That's right. Did you... you don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. Want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. Cheryl. Did you catch that, Christoph Gans? Cheryl. Go back to? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? Have. All right, so we actually are going to roll the credits now, I think. Or do we get the ratings first? Let's see how we did. I'm curious. Probably bad. I got killed a bunch of times. No, I didn't get killed at all in this one. No, we, we didn't die a single time, I don't think. What would drive my rating down? It took us a while. I saved a lot. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to skip past this. If it'll let me. It did. That's a damn shame. So I'm playing this on off of a PC McCoot memory card, as I'm sure I told you a million times. And uh, the cutscenes don't work if, if, they, if they use FMV instead of in-game graphics. Okay, let's see how we did. Yeah. Ooh, got burned there, huh? Gold star... Gold star, gold star. That felt like a lot longer than 4 minutes and 58 seconds to me, didn't it? Yeah, well, whatever. Nice. Enemy defeated by shooting 7, enemy defeated by fighting 8. I only killed that many guys this whole time. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing we're not going for the possessed ending. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. Hooray. Oh, we get the beam saber. Okay, that's cool. Alright, that's all she wrote, everybody. If you stuck with me to the end, I sure do appreciate you. 
Um, I'll see you next time. Well, I won't see you next time for Silent Hill 3, but I'll see you next time for whatever one we do next. Okay. See ya.